the acquisition of the Dutch East Indies is progressing rapidly. The American, British, Dutch and Australian enemies have assembled a joint force under the flag of Audacom. One of our heavy cruisers is tasked with protecting our transport vessels heading for Java and also helping destroy the Audacom fleet. Java. Our marines are loaded onto transports and eager for the forthcoming battle. Australian, British, Dutch and American forces will try to attack them en route. But we'll shield them with our firepower. They won't get through. Commander, stop that ship! Enemy planes are heading right towards us! Enemy artillery in range! There are some cruisers with destroyer escorts! I'll try to lure them closer! Commander, I need you to assist while the rest of the fleet is secure in the area. Our artillery fire has been frustratingly inaccurate. Looks like we're jinxed. I heard you excelled at the destruction of Force Z. You have experience of fighting the English? Yes, sir. And we have experience of defeating them as well. Then we have the perfect target for you. Their flagship, the Exeter. Acknowledged, sir. Consider it dispatched to the bottom of the ocean. Direct hit. She's clearly listing. I think she's going down.
Japan's victory will go down in history. Glory to the Japanese Empire! After ships are now sunk, damaged or scattered, they won't come back in force from this. We've won a great victory here. Long live the Japanese Empire! After Kong is no longer a strong force to be reckoned with, the Allies have suffered a serious defeat. While we are sinking their ships, our marines have been heading for Java. We have also annexed the Philippine Islands. The war has not been going for long, but already we've made huge advances very quickly. So like the rest of these missions I've been playing, this one was based on true history as well. However, the true battle of the Java Sea was a lot different in real life. Though the main battle took place on February 27, 1942, pretty much all Allied vessels were destroyed via torpedo attacks, but the way the game is designed makes it really hard to pull that off. I did try my best to make it as historically accurate as I could. Not to mention some of those Allied vessels were not sunk during the main battle, but actually fled and were hunted down over the following days. For anyone interested in learning more about the true history of this battle, I'm linking in the description one of History Graph's videos. I hope you enjoyed mine, and I hope you'll enjoy his.